So, should I think of you as my sister? I'm a Moloch named Ceres. I've inherited Selica's memories, that's all. And that doesn't make you the same person? What exactly defines a person's identity? I may have her body and her memories, but... <sighs> You're right. If your soul has changed, you're not the same person anymore. Even if I were Selica, I don't have the right to be called your sister. I followed Artorius's orders without question, sacrificing my own flesh and blood. What about me? I devoured you. I have no right to condemn you for what you've done. There's a difference, Velvet. I wanted you to do it. Even had I survived, I would have given myself to you before long. I wanted you to have my power, no matter the cost. But why? Right after the advent, Selica's memories returned to me. <sighs> it was then I understood what exactly it was I had done. Arthur, kind and caring, transformed into the cruel Artorius he is now. Why did your memories return? I don't know. I've heard that very rarely Malakim can regain the memories of their previous lives. Or perhaps this is my punishment for the pain I brought to you all. The stronger I feel my love for Arthur, the less I can forgive Artorius. My hatred of him has grown so deep I'm not Selica anymore. As Ceres, I can never bring back the Arthur that I loved. Neither do I have the power to defeat Artorius. But you can. You're a Therian. You fully absorbed my power. You can face the Shepherd. I know. I will stop him. Forgive me, Velvet. I've pushed everything onto you. My hatred, my determination. I wanted to apologize one last time, at the end. I'm glad I had a chance to know you. I'm glad that once I could be Luffy's sister. And Selica and Arthur's sister as well. I was happy. Velvet. Should you be up so soon? Yeah, but... Stay back! <gasps> it's finally come to this. But of course it did. After all, I chose my revenge over a world of peace. I can't complain if people call me the Lord of Calamity. Velvet, whether you're human, demon, or Lord of Calamity... It doesn't change that you have beautiful hair. Smooth. Super smooth. Laffy said the same thing to me a long time ago. He gave me this comb. Your heart, I can tell it aches. Yes. But even still, no, because of that, I've made up my mind. I'm going to settle things with Artorius and Inominat, once and for all. It must be done. For my sake, and for the sake of those I loved. I will too. Even without my compass, I'll place my hand on the wheel and chart my own course. I will defeat Artorius. But, if I kill Inominat, Lafayette, and me, and the other Therians, they'll all... A compass? Hmm...
I feel like I can get where he's going with that. Guys, don't don't do I this. See. Why the hell didn't you say something? Hmm. Calm down. You were passed out at the time, okay? <laughs> I'm going. I've got to stop him. What's going on? We got a message from the Von Eltia. That's great. Is everyone okay? Yeah. For now. Huh? While Benwick and the others were making their getaway, they got word that Eifried was spotted in Endgand. They said they're on their way to Lionel Island to meet him. That has to be... Yes, a trap. No doubt set by that horned demon, who may even be Eifried himself. Eifried is a demon? Are you serious? I said may. Let's head to Lionel Island. Whoever it is, it's a lead. Besides, we can't afford to lose the Von Eltia. How will we get there? Zavid probably sailed off with the ship we came in on. We'll steal one from the harbor. I may be a calamity, but I'm frugal. For sure. I mean, why would... Why would we spend money on... Curse it all. A fucking ship. I mean, that's crazy. Why would we do that? That's stupid. All right. <laughs> so, sounds like Eifried is waiting for us in Engand. And, uh, yeah, he's probably going to be a demon. And by that, I mean he's a demon and we're going to have to fight him. Hooray. I, that can only go well. <laughs> so... Where'd Eleanor go? It's weird. Um, I was gonna say something, I totally forgot. Oh, damn it. Let's talk to a dude. Prince Percival safely made it back to the capital. The Abbey used everything they had to rescue him. I heard he was kidnapped by the Lord of Calamity. So if they got him back, that demon must be... Dead, along with all of her gang. That's what a friend of mine in the Royal Army told me anyway. The Abbey's propaganda at work again, I see. We're finally safe! Hurrah! Hold up, hold up. From what I hear, no one knows if the Lord of Calamity actually gave up the ghost. Her hideout got destroyed, but some say she managed to escape. What makes them think she escaped? Fishermen from Port Renit saw a fleet of Abbey ships near that island that's rumored to be a prison. Just a little bit later, they saw a pirate ship speeding away from the area where the Abbey ships were headed. Well, that was definitely us. Guess it isn't that easy to hide the truth. There was some talk a while ago about prisoners' bodies washing up on shore at Port Renid, so that story sounds plausible at least. It does, and here I thought I was safe. So where did the Lord of Calamity go? <sighs> the Abbey needs to get their act together and put that monster down already. Go ahead, talk all you like. Was that the main character of Eternal Sonata? <laughs> Forgot her name, but that that voice actress like was like, yeah, that really sounds like that girl. Um, oh yeah, I was gonna mention. Um, now that I, now that they had that whole scene with Velvet and Saris, I started thinking like, oh yeah, that would actually make a lot more sense. Where Inomi not just has the memories of Laffy Set. He's not actually, he doesn't like have the soul of Laffy said. I think that would make more sense for this circumstance than anything else really. Because I was really wondering, did Laffy said really go as hardcore as they're making him out to be? Like, I, I don't know if I'm, I mean, he might have, he might have. I don't know if I'm right, but it really seems like that whole conversation could apply to Laffy said and Enominat. As well, because I was like really wondering, like, like, there's there's a big step here, going from the boy you were and being Enominat. So I really feel like that that same thing applies for him. So I don't know. I might be crazy, but that's that's what I'm thinking. So, hey man. I saw an Abbey ship heading toward the Sea of No Return. I wonder what they're doing. They've made that whole area off-limits. The guild got an order from the Abbey telling us to stay away. They're being nice and careful, and taking precautions to keep the secret of Hexen Isle just that. Yeah, but order or not, no one here is stupid enough to try to sail there. It's said that compasses go dead, 
and monsters from the deep appear to swallow ships whole. Whatever the case, ships really have sailed there to never return. Everyone knows that the Sea of No Return is bad news. Come to think of it, I heard a ship from some other town strayed into those waters and got attacked by a dragon. A dragon? <laughs> you sure they didn't just get a bad case of the Corsair Scourge and dream up the whole thing? Well, that was my reaction, but then again, the Abbey did tell everyone to stay away, so something must be there. Whatever it is, we'd all best leave it be. The Sea of No Return. What a poetic name. For the Malachim taken there, that poem is a tragic one. Everywhere the Abbey sets foot ends up the same. Yeah, the Abbey's kind of shit. I mean, what else is new? <laughs> well, I guess for now, let's go grab ourselves a ship. Oh, there's Eleanor. Hey, we gonna steal that? You plan on jumping on? Let me join you. How about this one? The hole looks dirty, and I don't see anyone aboard. You're surprisingly into this. Maybe you've got a criminal streak in you after all. What? No, I... What do you think, Aizen? She'll do. Let's take her. Cool. I'm glad Eleanor's just on board on stealing a ship. Well, let's go. <laughs> yeah, sure you are. So, yeah, I can only go to Lionel Island. Can't go anywhere else. So, I guess let's go there. And possibly die. And my recording is blowing up. Cool. What is going on with my recording? Well, that's great. Aizen, everything alright? We're almost at Lionel Island. All thanks to this ship. She's got a good compass. Yeah. If only my inner compass held us steady. From the first moment I laid eyes upon that demon, I think I knew it was Eifried. But some part of me refused to accept it. That's because you're Eifried's friend, don't you think? After all, he taught you that the Reaper's curse was part of you, part of your creed. We were lost at sea once. Twenty straight days we floated together, close to death. And all he says is, you sure know how to liven up an adventure. He sounds like an incredible person. You did the same thing for Velvet, you know. Only because you taught me how, Aizen. Your wheel is yours to hold, right? That's right. That's what it is to live by one's... Look! It's Lionel Island! Not good. The Von Eltia's already there. <sighs> We're too late. Eleanor! What's going on? What happened? A horned demon attacked us out of nowhere! They're breathing. Barely. Zavid rushed here to save us. Had he not come when he did, we'd all be dead. This is all because I hesitated. Where'd they go? Zavid lured the beast away, towards the interior. Let's go! Well, that's not good. Um... So we're probably going to have to chase after Zavid for Eifried, so that'll be fun. Um, pretty much, though, I'm going to have to end this off real quick. There may just be a small cut, but my recording is like 10 seconds behind, and it's really bad. And that's where I get my audio from, so I cannot record properly with this. So that kind of sucks. So I'll be back in a minute, probably. See you then. Alright, we're back. Sorry about that cut there. My recording was just totally messing up. We'll see how that goes in editing. Didn't look that bad when I played it back a little bit, but seemed... It was really bad for me, uh, hearing it from that point, so... For now, back to what we were doing. We need to go chase after Zavid and Eifried. And possibly get into a big fight with Eifried. <laughs> Which, thinking about now, is like a really crazy thing. Like, we haven't... Like, they're... The Tales series, they're... Oh my god! Alright. The Tales series is like this 
there's there's this whole thing with Ifreed where you like never see him. You just hear stories about him because he's some famous pirate and all that. Most of the time, I believe I believe that's just all the time. He's just a famous pirate. And now in this game, he's like a major plot point for one of our main characters. Two of our main well, Zavid's more of a minor character, but to see. I free given such a big role is like kind of crazy in my opinion. It's kind of crazy. Can I? No, I have to. I have to ride my way down. So we'll see how far this goes. Um, I could just cut there, really. But fuck it. There's like a there's a shortcut, so it shouldn't be that big of a deal. Looks like they beefed up the enemies here though, so. So that's a thing. Um, is it that way? Actually, I can just look on the map. Yeah, it is that way. That shortcut should just take us right to the end, so... Not really too worried about it. Is that demon really Eifried? Eisen would know better than anyone, so I'd take it as a fact. But I thought when people have a strong will like you and Kurogane, they don't lose themselves upon becoming a demon. From how Eisen talks about him, I'd say his strength of will should be considerable. Even if you don't lose yourself, a demon is a demon. When you change, you're no longer human. I don't remember how I felt as a human. But I bet the human me would have thought I'm a real monster. <sighs> but would the old part of Eifried allow him to be so obedient to the Abbey? No. He didn't seem to be following Melchior of his own free will. I imagine Melchior's illusory arts are at play. Like what we saw at Loringen in a ball? Is that enough to control a demon? They would seem so. But more importantly, someone with a psyche resilient enough to impress Aizen should be extraordinarily hard to turn into a demon. So Melchior must be using a particularly nasty illusion, eh? Eifried, Aizen, please be okay. Yeah, it'd be nice if, if they're okay, but... Knowing this game, they're probably not going to be okay. Um, okay, so Aizen is in the party. That's good. I was gonna be like, I really want Aizen in the party for this, but I do kind of want Laffy in the party. Well, we've had Laffy in the party for quite a bit, so we could probably survive without him for a little bit. So, this is going to be something. I think I'm really, I'm really interested in this part just because it involves Aizen, and Aizen's my favorite character in this game. So, first off, we have Clashing Creeds. That's, that's me. Where I'm clashing... I don't know many other creeds, but I'm clashing. There's a crowd. Don't hit me. Let's watch this skit, all right? All right. Maybe, maybe I'm, maybe I'm clashing with the dude in Hearts who's named Creed. That, that might be a thing. All right, all right. All right. We have to hurry. Zavid's all alone. Well, he's not exactly an ally. He's got his own creed. Remember the White Horn Dragon. He might try to protect Ifreed. So Aizen might too, right? This is Eifried we're talking about, so... He's a demon now. He's not Aizen's old buddy anymore. <sighs> Even if we can't bring him back to being human, there has to be something we can do to make him... himself again. If he's a demon, he'll never be himself again. He attacked Benwick and the rest of his crew. The old Eifried's gone. So... what does Aizen plan to do? I don't know. That's up to him. Worst case, we might have to fight him, too. It's best you prepare yourself for that possibility. But... Yeah, that, that might be a thing. Well, I can pretty much tell you that 99% of the time, it's usually a fight, so... So it's probably gonna be a fight. Yes. Damn it. Master of Trivia... So, Gemini Shell, Grit and Guts, Ringetsu Special Training. We've got a lot of these. Keep going. Alright, so we should be at, pretty much at the end once we're here, so that's good. Don't have to worry about going there too far. That's not really a proper sentence, but whatever. I'm probably not going to be recording too much longer tonight, actually. I would like to get through this part because I'm mostly curious about this part, but I can really... I don't know, I feel like I can't talk as well today. 
I don't know, I just feel really out of it for some reason. So I'm sorry if these videos have been kind of boring or anything. Like, I feel like I'm not in my proper zone, I guess? But I also don't really care and would like to know Eifried and Aizen and Zavid. These are characters I want to know. I like character. Sword. Let's go. Is it not here? Oh, it's up there. Alright. My bad. <laughs> Going the wrong way. So that means I'm gonna have to turn off those buttons then. Cause that... That... That is blocked off. <laughs> so... Yeah, I... I don't know. It's like my chest... Is kinda holding me back... For some reason. Or my throat. But I feel really weird today. So I feel like this session is probably not that great. Cause of it. Oh god. Please... Stop. So yeah, I do apologize. Um, is it not down here? I thought they were like right here. Are they not blocked off? In oh, is that not a thing anymore? I mean, if it's not a thing, that's cool. I, for some reason, I thought they were still a thing, so. I mean, I know it was an Abby thing. Oh yeah, I guess they're gone now. Cool. Well, let's go. Fight a dude. And hopefully Aizen will be okay after this, because if something happens to Aizen through this part of the game, I'm going to be angry. Because I love Aizen. If you do this to me, I'm going to be really mad, game. Zavid, you alright? Stop. I know these fists. This is Eifried. Why didn't you fight back? Eifried. He pulled me back from the brink. <laughs> I owe him. This time, it's my turn to bring him back. A demon can never be human again. So what? That's supposed to make me change my creed? What do you think, I freed? Savid! Yo. After kids now. <sighs> Benwick and your crew risked their lives by your side. Savid's an idiot, but he stands by his beliefs. I won't let anyone trample their creeds. Even you! I owe you everything, Eifried. And now... It's time to pay it back! Bro, this is really cool. I am. Let's settle this. Easier said than done. He's a sturdy birdie. Damn right he is, and that's why I've got to do this. Hell yeah, man, man! I said so cool. All right, I'm not doing great so far, as you can see. Laffy said, "Why don't you come in here and do some arts?" Man, I feel bad. You know, I I Freed has done so much for Aizen, but like, goddamn, Aizen is so cool. Like, the, taking everything he's learned from. Wow, that's really good. Um, taking everything he's learned from I Freed and just being like, this is my life now. And it, and he's taught all these things to to Laffy Sun as well. And it's just like. Eifried is such a strong part of Aizen's character in Lafayette, and it's just so cool. It's so cool. Laffy said, you, your magic is really good, by the way. Oh, 
Go, go, go. Just, just, yeah. Yeah, Laffy, yeah. God, his magic is ridiculous. I am, I am fine doing this all day. But I am, I am low on the souls. Don't hit me. Oh, you hit me. All right, let's turn back. That was fun though. That, that magic is really powerful. We're getting there though. Ooh. Oh no. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right, dude, all right. All right. No, I'm not dead yet. I was preemptively deciding my death. Um, I have an ailment on I, uh, on, on I, <laughs> on me, don't I? Um, panacea bottle, please, so I can heal myself. Yes, this, this is what I need. Um, I would also like to get just a little bit more. Aizen! Bro! Holy shit, Aizen! End of the road. Taking hostages now. I'm sorry. Just forget about me. I'm I'm prepared for whatever happens. All right. You've grown. You're a man now. Family, friends, everything I ever tried to hold on to, all of it trickled away fell from my grasp but a certain idiot once told me if you can't hold something in your hand then make a fist and take it by force this fist will take everything back just like you told me to uh. Uh. No. bro I know this fist. It's you. Sorry. Caused him a lot of trouble, didn't I? Don't worry about it. We're friends, right? I freed! Don't get corrupted. Oh, well, that works. Sure. A demon changed back into a human? Forget it. It's too late. I'm sorry. If I only knew how to use my power stop crying didn't you say you were prepared for anything but i sent you were searching for ifried for so long <sighs> you're still as soft as you ever were boy i'll let you in on little secrets your power comes from being part of he know me not which means if you can seal off his domain you actually got a chance of putting up a good fight seal off his domain the four elemental Empyreans sleeping in the earth pulses if you can rouse them from their slumber hurry while Artorius and Inominata are occupied, they're getting ready for some 
ceremony of suppression. It's now or never, kid. Thank you, Eifried. <laughs> I'm just sad I can't go with you. This sounds like a goddamn blast. I won't apologize. You shouldn't. I'm grateful. You always kept things from getting dull. If we ever meet again, let's raise some hell. Eisen. Yeah, we will. See you, Eifried. I owe you one, Zavid. We had a chance to bring him back. But you went and killed him. Next time I see you, we'll settle the score. Between me and your creed. See you around, Zavid. I get a lot of stuff, I guess. Inexhaustible Gnore Bottle. Oh, cool. Thanks. Ifree, did were you just carrying that around, I guess? So, we need to wake the four elemental Empyreans? But how do we do it? Dunno, maybe you tickle their divine footsies with a feather until they... You're back! And you're looking better. Somehow. But what happened to that demon? We killed him. Benwick. He... Let me tell him. The rest of you, find Grimoire, and ask her about the four Empyreans. Aizen. Are you sure? Do it. He gave us this chance. We can't waste it. Okay. Man, Aizen is so fucking cool. Aizen is so fucking cool. <sighs> There's a reason that he's my favorite character. And it's just because he's so goddamn fucking awesome. Alright, so... Gonna leave everything to Aizen on telling them, laying them down. Not, not that you let him down, but... You gotta let him down easy. You know what I'm saying? You know, you guys know what I'm saying. Let's go talk to Grimoire. Well, how's everyone doing? You guys okay? Oh, by the way, Kurogane, I've been meaning to tell you. Yeah, um, Rokuro used that sword for literally one battle. And, uh, it, it broke. Ori Calcum, I mean, it's not as strong as they told us. I mean, Ori Calcum, more like Snorri Calcum. <laughs> what the fuck am I talking about? Jesus Christ. Hey, Grimoire. Resurrect the elemental Empyreans. True. If we do that, we might be able to suppress Inominat's domain. It may even liberate the minds of the Malachim that Inominat has under his control. I'm sure some will no longer obey their exorcists. Good. We'll take a big bite out of their forces. More importantly, Inominat will lose the ability to enhance the resonance of his exorcists. Most exorcists will no longer even be able to perceive Malachim at all, just like before. Of course, anyone as innately gifted as me is another story. Will I... become unable to see Lafayette? We won't know until we try. Eleanor... Then let's give it a shot. I'll accept whatever happens. But these elemental Empyreans, they're gods, right? You sure it's okay to disturb their beauty sleep? They control the four elements. Waking them is likely to upset the balance of the world quite a bit. I'll take that as a no, then. We don't even know how to revive them. At worst. If it's anything like the opening, then we need to offer a sacrifice at the Earth Pulse on a Scarlet Night. 
We have to kill someone? The act of killing is not essential to the ceremony. All that's needed is a soul free of malevolence. Hmm. If that's true, then doesn't Velvet already have a whole belly full of them? The exorcists I devoured. It's perfect. You're Aetherian. You're capable of releasing the power you absorb. The souls of the high-ranking exorcists you ate should do nicely. Use Oscar and Teresa's souls to resurrect the Empyreans? It's worth a try, at least. When's the next Scarlet Knight? Three years after the advent. In other words, soon. Hmm. Do we have enough time? The four Empyreans are asleep in different places, right? Correct. Four Earth Pulses for four Empyreans. But if you use a life pool, you may be able to awaken all four at the same time. A life pool? Earth Pulses normally flow horizontally, but in exceptionally rare cases, they can flow vertically. This causes energy to collect at the Earth Pulse's base, forming a life pool. Though sometimes the energy flows the other way, upward, into what's called a life spring. Ho-ho! So if we make use of one of these life pools, a single sacrifice could reach all four Empyreans. Where are they? There's a life pool in the northern reaches of Midgand, but I heard a large temple was built over it recently. That's the Empyrean throne! We can't go there, it's Inominat's home base! Ah, uh, most unfortunate. Couldn't we use a life spring? It all connects to the same place, right? We'll have to go against its flow, but... We'll force the soul right down its throat. Where's the nearest life spring? Our best bet would be Mount Killeraus. Aizen? I'm fine. What's done is done. Killeraus? That's the volcano on the northernmost tip of Northgand, but it's a hellscape of ice and lava! Naturally. Killeraus is the most powerful life spring there is. So, in short, we shove the souls of the exorcists into the molten core of that volcano. That should awaken the four elemental Empyreans. Together, they will seal off Inominat's domain. It's just a theory, but... It's one I'll put my money on. Me too. Then we're off to Northgand. Mount Killeraus is north of Helleviz. Kind of weird going to Helleviz for a volcano, but okay. <sighs> well, I was expecting we were going to go to like four locations for all four Empyreans, but I guess we're just going to one, which I'm fine with. No big deal. So, uh, I'm guessing Benwick is not doing that well. You, you okay, guys? The ship's ready to sail. Where are you headed? We don't have a problem. If you've got a grudge, we can settle it here and now. Huh? Why would we have a grudge against you guys? The first mate fought like the first mate. The captain died like the captain, right? I suppose. Then no swabby here can blame you for what happened. We're Eifried's pirates, and don't forget it. We're not so pathetic that we need pity from some lord of calamity. All right. The ship's in your hands. Aye, aye. You can count on us. Well, good. I'm glad you guys are better than I thought you would be. So, the death of the captain. The Von Eltia looks the same as ever. But it feels utterly different, doesn't it? Yeah. Even Benwick looked like he'd been crying. I can imagine. But if we let ourselves despair now, we'd be a disgrace to Eifried's creed. We have to swallow our anger and grief, and sail on. Right. Following a creed isn't always pleasant. We must do what we must. I won't allow the Abbey to do things like this. Destroying someone like that, turning them into a puppet, it's unconscionable. Still, a heart can never be fully bridled. It can be shattered but never erased entirely. Eifried proved that. Right. His body is gone, but he lives on through his crew. Magilu is right. What lives in one's heart can never be erased. Yeah, the heart is eternal. Pretty much. Though I'm sure Magilu knows that best, so. Alright, so we can only go to Hell of Ease. Man, they really are not letting you go anywhere right now. I'm guessing it's going to change. You know, 
at a certain point, probably near the end of the game. But for now, it's just like, no, you can only go one way. That's fine. I see. Or a calcum or not, Stormquell snapped like a twig. I'm afraid so. It was Inominat who did it. But I think Shigure could have done the same. So hardness alone isn't enough. Forgive me. I thought I had found clarity, but it was only foolish pride. You should be proud. You are, without a doubt, the greatest swordsmith in the world. I'm looking forward to your next blade. Even now, you would still place your trust in me? Of course. Is there any other swordsmith who could craft a blade out of Orichalcum? You're a master of your art. A visionary who spent centuries working to forge a blade of legend. I'm honored to know you. I don't know what to say. Unless, of course, you've given up on making a sword to surpass Storm Howl. <laughs> Does this look like the face of a man who's given up? Not in the least. <laughs> There's no face. We're making good time. The only problem is that ceremony that Arturius was going on about. We don't know how long it'll take. Eifried said they called it the Ceremony of Suppression. Most likely, it's how Inominat plans to release his power. Most likely. He hasn't absorbed Lafayette in your despair, so Inominat should still be incomplete. But if his powers fully awaken... Humanity will be robbed of their free will! I can hear them celebrating now. The uglinesses of the human soul are suppressed! And the world is free of malevolence! Hurrah! Hurrah! Robbing humanity of its will. They'll be like I once was. Oh, something's coming! Please, guys, let's not fight! <laughs> this is a domain? domain <sighs> their wills have been stolen it's not been fully sealed away yet Rokuro give him a good smacking wake him up on it Eisen got it we'll put in at the nearest harbor to Port Zexon Thank you. 
Ah, I feel like some jerk played tug of war with my brain. Dig up some spirit. They're trying to strip away your will. Oh no! Look, it's that merchant. You're all right. I do not deserve to be all right. I used people, stepped on them just to make a profit. I even aided wanted criminals so that I could expand my business. My soul is black with ugliness and can never be forgiven. Huh? No, wait! The world needs to be purified of malevolence. I don't belong here. I have to die. I have to die. I have to die. No! It's not right! Oh. You can die if you want. But saying you have to die is a good way to make my blood boil. Those awakened to their own malevolence seek to end their lives. Welcome to Artorius's uncompromising world of reason. First they steal humanity's rudder, and now they want to say who lives and who dies? We should find out what's happening here, unless you'd rather not see. You're right, I wouldn't. But I won't hide from the truth any longer. Before anything else, We'll need to confirm just how far his power reaches. Let's head to Logris. Alright, well this is not looking so, so good. I was not expecting them to just throw out seems that. Way. that. Brought their peace to mankind. Yeah, I wasn't expecting their ceremony to just pop off so quickly. And to see this, this is the reality of the world they're trying to create. Not a huge fan. Not great. Pretty much exactly as I expected, to be honest. You guys doing okay? You, you doing alright, kitty? Alright, cool. Well, I think for right now, I'm probably going to be ending things off before we do anything crazy. Um, usually I would be going a little bit longer than this. Like, probably a couple hours. But... Honestly, I'm not really feeling that well. I kind of have a headache. So I don't want to just push through and make more videos if I'm not feeling well. So I'm probably just going to end off for right now. And then uh, we'll come back and deal with this. Because this is a problem. <laughs> um, yeah, then that domain goes for a while. Like the whole world. <laughs> so we're going to have to deal with this. But... I will watch this skit, Suppressed World, Ideal World. You know me not suppression. Is this the ideal world the Abbey envisions? Bien! There's no life in anyone's eyes! This isn't a fun place at all! It's not just people's minds being shackled. They're being forced to die, too. It's terrible. Why would dying be part of anyone's ideal world? Even under such strict control, new sins can still rise to the surface. If that happens, it's better to end the life of the sinner. Melchior came to the same logical conclusion. What utter rubbish. Anyway, we need to get to Logris. Yeah, it's kinda shitty. <laughs> this even- this is like- Like, they- they prettied it up with their words and all that, but- Oh wow, that gives two? Holy crap. Thanks! Black Shiba Inu tail. Nice! Um, yeah, they prettied it up quite a bit, but seeing this now, seeing people like go out and actually kill themselves over it, that, that's bad. That bad. Inominat's expanding domain. What's going to happen to the world? How far will Inominat's power spread? When his domain expanded, I felt a faraway power suddenly come closer. 
It was enough to blot out the whole sky. I'm sure it's covered other towns, too. His domain has certainly extended to at least the entire populace of this country. Otherwise, what would be the point? That means what happened at Port Zexen is happening everywhere. Everyone is either a puppet or... Dead by their own hands. Inominat created this ideal hell in a single moment. That's the power we're up against. So we few are standing against a truly monumental force. This is your last chance to turn back. Turn back to what exactly? Forward or back, we're headed into hell either way. At least this way, I'll have my own free will. I'd prefer a living damnation to that oblivion. Well, don't come crying to me later. Let's move along then. I don't know why she keeps asking Eleanor to like decide, even though Eleanor has said many times, well, recently, like a little bit ago, she's like, I'm not turning back on this, I'm going all the way. Like, she specifically said that, and Velvet's like, hey, you can, you can turn back now if you want. It's like, you can't really turn back on this. Like, you either, you either conform to the, to the laws of the world, or you fight it. Because, because there's no turning your back on this. This is bad. <laughs> So, I, I, I still can't even believe that Artorius thinks this is right. But, like, I understand, like, everything he's been through, he's kind of, like, corrupted, in a sense. But, like, seeing this, like, this is kind of nuts. But, yeah, I'm gonna wait on watching all the stuff in town and for next time. But I think for now, I'm gonna be ending things off. I would do more, but, yeah, I'm not feeling too well this time around, so I'm sorry about that. But next time, we are going to be heading over to Logress, see how bad things are, because things are not looking good. So, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.